Alright, so when I build my other Reaper, I have to build them a little bit differently. Well, we have four points saved up, but you need five to get either armor or magic resist. You can gain blocks and wards as well, which I think would be better with this route, because I can give him blocks and wards with Lost Soul. So as long as I keep his blocks and wards up, he won't take actual damage. So I can kind of just ignore these two. You don't want to split your points, I would say. You don't you don't want a mixture. You want to kind of focus them in. That means we're saving up 10 points. That means we're going to have to start upgrading our parts here soon. Alright. You still need items, but none of the items I have for you are great. Essence of Mind isn't bad for you. Like I said before, it, it can actually be good. I've just been fighting enemies that don't like to go crazy, but once I fight enemies that do like to go crazy, I probably will be using her stress moves more, and then that will cause me to heal. Sir, I mean, there's nobody else I would really put this on. There's nobody else, so this is just gaining me benefit uh, for the time being. And there's also nobody else I'm going to put this on, really. <laughs> then I could put the or I could put the cannibal jaw on her just as a failsafe. Just as a, if any of my other units somehow die, she just goes crazy. But no. There. Let's use our resources efficiently here. Um, Gumball. Gumballio. Do we give you some more initiative? Yes, because we're, we're trying to get you to move before the Gorger. So now it's a 50-50 chance for that to happen. And... Yeah, amateur. I, uh, I'm trying. I, I am trying. Let's see here. No. I think we're good. We're good on all that. I'm gonna wait till we have two talents. Not enough to do anything in the graveyard. And we already put on the outdoor fork, shamefully. Let's go. First four-person fight, still still two Berserkers, but what are you going to do? Gumball goes first. Tasty meat. He does. Enemies go first. I know. It's all good, man. It is all good. Okay. Let's... Let's think about this. Moving the enemies right now, not the greatest. Let's get our, the Berserkers dead. The Berserkers just need to die. Nice. Gotta get hungry. But before we do that, let's drop a nuke. Crunchy. See where the life's at. 75, okay. Gotta get hungry. Yes, it is your turn. Okay. So. I think it's time. So. When I use this, it's going to do stress damage to everybody, and this will heal my mana, because stress damage is damage. This guy has a ward, so he won't take damage. So three dudes are going to get hit. Let's see how much mana I gain from this. Let's see if that item was, was worth it. 33. 45. So I gained 12. That's really good. Okay. There goes all my ward. Uh, let's look at the turn order here. I did just give all of the enemies initiative, so it would be a good idea to make sure this guy dies. He's going to take 45. He's at 30. Yeah, this will kill him and heal me some mana. Cool, we managed to steal the initiative. Very nice. Um... 
Sucks you have two blocks. Crush bones would really hurt you right now, but it would not kill you. This guy's dead anyway. Yeah. Let's just get your blocks removed. Just trying to think, is there any way this kills? I, If he had no blocks, there would be a chance, but I'll just save it for the Berserker, right? Looking around, yeah. I gotta save it for the Berserker. Oh! Oh! Oh, nope, he went berserk. That's not good. Become part of the breathless tide. All right, he doesn't have armor any longer. I am still trying to focus him, though, unfortunately. We will be able to focus him once this guy's dead. Because then both of my abominations will be able to hit him. So we're going to try to heal some mana here. Oh! And that will actually let us use this, which will kill. Crunchy. <laughs> now, I could remove his buff. It's not very good. Or I could put on a block and a ward right here. Or just start up a heal. Start up a heal. Now that you are in range, my friend. Ooh, maybe this is better. Yeah. Um, Gorger will get to move twice. 44. Mm, he'll get to move twice, but he won't get to use Break and Swallow twice. But the damage should be enough. Ooh, oh! That's not good. Ow. I've never seen him say that before. That's hilarious. Alright, and then... Do I nuke? I kind of have to. Just for safety reasons. 156? First mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> Your last. This is crazy, Dan. Alright, so now she's going to deal damage to my own minion, and it heals my mana. It heals my mana when that procs. It's so funny. Um, and yeah, keep healing him, I think. Or should I put... Yeah, no. Because this heals my mana, so I don't really care if it hurts my minion. He's healing himself. on him. He's not moving until the very, very last. Let's do this. And then I'll be able to do as much damage as possible with the Reaper on his turn. Yep. We're gonna wait. That damage is gonna come through. Heal me a little bit, which is so nice. She's gonna use one more heal. Yep. And then the Reaper comes through with the kill. Mop up the gore. Starting to get pretty to decent basic parts. Using it They're just fertilizer. flooding me with these flasks, which is okay. Hey, I ended up getting the Imprisoned Souls Ring anyway. Two talent points. Um, one additional part will drop after battle. Let's rush that. Let's rush that. We're going to keep saving. Don't have enough souls to buy anything in here, I don't think. Actually, it's not true. We have exactly enough to open up the Dead Lake again, and we absolutely should. And I think that the path we took, yeah, it's going to allow us to gain even more souls here. Good. Um, oop, <laughs> already forgot what minion I needed, a mummy. You don't have to do them in order, but I do. 
They will carry the curse of my tomb to the world. Yeah. Let's hope I get a little bit more artifacts now. That artifact I just gained was a, a product of the graveyard. Do, do, do. Nothing new here. Do we keep going? Yes, we're going to keep going Aratus experience because this experience is going to get us closer to that four uh, passive. Actually, am I messing up? Do I? Okay, good. I was making sure that this wasn't a multi-branch thing like this, you know. Good, good, good. I can just go straight for this without needing any other prerequisites. Never know. Totally feel fine going into fights uh, damaged, even in elite fight. Aratus experience. Hopefully after this elite fight, we can take that uh, guaranteed part after each battle. What's the last passive do? It gives me one additional part to drop after every battle. Guaranteed. I don't know if this part has a randomized rarity, but I assume it does. Uh, most things that make you drop parts are by chance, so having something that's guaranteed is very good. And the prerequisites to this, 50% chance to drop better parts, 25% better chance to drop better parts, and then you have things like excavation. 40% chance for each minion working at the site to excavate a random part after every victory. Um, and then we have the glorious outdoor fork, one additional body part. This outdoor fork is exactly like that passive. So I'll, I'll, I'll have two forks. And an elite fight. Now we should use a consumable. We definitely have a lot of consumables. Um, no berserkers. No berserkers. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we can use our sanity moves. This does not seem like a hard fight. Let's use something that will reduce their sanity. Starting with 100 wrath, no. They lose a block in a ward, that would be okay. Yeah, they lose a block in a ward. It embellishes my undead features, no? Okay. I was thinking about making a potion. Yep. Almost all of them had blocks and wards, so that was very, very useful. Gumball goes first! So this is the order that the team is supposed to work in. Hopefully it'll be easier to make happen in the future. We do this. And now we can lead with the battle hump, or the funeral march, uh, which goes through Ward. That's a start right there. That does not remove all blocks and wards quite yet. Who are we focusing on? Probably the Taskmaster. Fortunately, he's so far back there. So then it should probably be this guy just because he's close up and I can probably kill him very easily. She can remove debuffs. I think that's one of the things she can do. So I want to be careful not to use Agony of Fire here and just stick with Soul Dissection. That's better anyway because it'll heal my mana. But You do have some magic resistance. Um, yeah, let's try to kill him first. She'll probably heal him, but that'll be okay. It's doing 82 on its first use. It's doing 82 on its first use. And yes, we can drive them crazy here and restore quite a bit of mana. Carve open their husks. Automatic insanity. We got cowardice. Nice. Wow, wow, their insanity went away. Um Are we good? Hopeless? Yeah, that's fine. 
chilling. Who are you gonna heal? Everyone? How are you just gonna say everyone? Oh, it's a buff. Oh, you poor person, this is a buff. If I can gain enough wrath, you are about to have a bad day. Okay. So, that being the case, he's in his stance. I don't like that at all. Whenever an ally takes targeted damage. Can she remove him from this stance? She can't. If she moves up one. So she'll have to wait till after the Reaper's turn? I'm just gonna have everybody wait. I think. I could kill this guy with this right away, but I don't want to. I wanna use her first. That's what I'm thinking about here. I'll just wait. And I'll have him wait as well. And then she does not have enough wrath. Dang it. That's not good. Misplay big time. Guess we just kill him. I guess we can test to see if this works on spells. I think it does. Crunchy. Now, this should trigger him. It didn't. Cool. That's good to know. Uh, and then we'll just use her turn to heal, I think. Yeah. They're still thumped. How am I going to get this guy out of his stance? Use this? That should work. Okay, cool. Maybe not all is lost. Nice. Yeah, you take some damage and you heal. No big deal. I want her to die. Ooh, jeez. Do you have all remaining strength or something? Yeah, you get two turns. Of everybody to get two turns, totally fine with it being her, actually. Um, she did gain a block and a ward. Actually, let's let's focus on him. The round is about to reset, and then I'll get another spell. And you're dead. Our entire team gets to go at the beginning of the next round. Could just heal some mana. Then it would save the uh, wrath. Yeah. Ashes to ashes, <laughs> dust to dust. Just kill him. And yeah, this lady needs to die. Let me use hail of teeth. Get off your box. No There's no sun up in the and go sky. To town. Bony weather incoming. Reaper's turn again, and we heal our mana. There we go. And now she's gonna do some damage to the Reaper, and even that will heal my mana. And then I can just reheal. Ooh, we had a miss. At least it got rid of your blocks. I should have just used his ulti, maybe. Uh, no, you have a ward, so, yep, we're just gonna, oh, wow, you're very evasive, I forgot how evasive you were. The triple hit is kind of nice on somebody that's so difficult to hit. There we go. Ooh, ow, though. Why are you... Why? Why you gotta be doing that? Uh, I'm gonna do this just to... Does not miss. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Don't miss. Yeah, I'm gonna do this just to make sure I get a heal off. Sweet. 
My will is a tide that Two? Oh no. Pathetic civilization. Oh no. Whoops. Uh, all hourglasses. <laughs> yes. I didn't even have to go super far out of my way. The game is telling me something. The game is telling me something right now. I have to. I have to. I'm sorry. But I must. All of the experience this guy gained is going to be wasted. So I'm just about to pop a brain in him. A level 11 brain that I just got. World, I'm sorry for what I have done and what I am about to do. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah. I'm already healing. No. Mana. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. And then you're going to be very support. Bam. And I could do the heal wrath. 50% of the damage I deal is restored in wrath, but these guys aren't using wrath like that. Stress attack. That could be really good too. Turning this to stress damage could be really good. Oh my goodness, he could go stress damage here and stress damage here, and he'd be a stress damage machine. He could do AoE stress damage, and he would have super high damage over time stress damage. When he's not just spamming his... This move is okay on its own. This move gets infinitely stronger. Yes, I'm making a different Reaper right now. Um, Serve me well, my so minion. So I just got these two in the same one in the same after the same fight, and obviously the Hourglass, which is gonna stack up my spell power very quickly. Uh, but this is this just gives me 15 spell power for the unit just being on the battlefield. So my spell power is about to be bonkers straight bonkers and then what i want is to have this guy have quite a bit of initiative i want him to go first Ooh, if i can make him go first then i can get the order and my team right maybe hmm. max initiative max dread It's not Max's Dread yet. Give him maybe another block. Hmm. Am I in the mood for terror or lethality yeah. today? Give another block and then we'll save. He doesn't need accuracy as much if he's just going to be boosting my spell power. We're gonna hold. We're gonna hold there, and then of course, of course, got to give him a name. Uh, this is the the spell. What 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 do we want here? Spell. Cavalry. <laughs> can we put a space? We can. 
the spell enforcer. <laughs> this guy's gonna be called the spell enforcer. Okay, and then peace out, lost soul that never had a name. This is fine. These guys still have some points to spend. Hopefully, I can make that work. And we're still going all out on your attack, right, Nurgle? You're just gonna be slicing them down. Yeah, Nurgle is our damage boy. Put some more dread on Gorger. We did start missing. We started missing a little bit. Let's let's not let our accuracy lag behind. Yeah, go a little bit of accuracy on these guys. Oh my gosh, this is about to be amazing. Oh, ooh, some souls. If we get... Actually, I don't think... Ooh, even with 31, I don't think we can upgrade anything. We don't need the Abode of Wrath. Like, for sure, now we don't really. Okay, yeah, we're good. No artifacts to put on. We do have our fourth talent point from that fight, so we can grab the Scalpel Artist. Through transformation, the will becomes free. We are going to throw you in here to keep gaining experience and then we get a fight let's see how this works we have quite a bit of mana so we use this Looks awesome. Gumball can get hungry. Gumball can get hungry still. Which is going to mean that Gorger can stomp. What's our initiative on the Reaper? Nine, yes. This is perfect. Now, Reaper should go next, yep, yeah, because they lost initiative. This is going to do <laughs> over 100 damage on its first cast. And it's going to get two stacks. So, what are we doing here, right? What, are we just trying to kill this guy? Are we just trying to kill this guy? What are we doing here? 122. Oh, so close. Can't kill him with magic damage. Almost one one rounded him. Try your best. I believe in you. Okay, so now, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no way. No way, no way, no way. Each of the hourglasses can stack up to five times. Because the buff is not on Erotus, it's on the minion. I thought that having two hourglasses was just going to make it stack faster, up to five, but having two allows me to have ten total stacks. Uh-oh. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Get out of your stance. Yeah, we restore mana. You 
better make your move count. Nope. That was not the play, buddy. That was not the play. Ignores block and ward. No, that doesn't that doesn't do it here. Hail of Teeth will work. Oh, by the way, Hail of Teeth is free. <laughs> Minus 13 mana cost. Totally free. It gets less mana when you have more spell power. That's so funny. Um, yeah, like Hail of Teeth. Don't know why. Which buffs no my spell power. Sky. Bony weather incoming. Uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. Fun Done. Annoyance in the world. Uh huh. Oh, okay. It's time to test. There's just this lonely enemy here. It's finally time to test to see if these buffs stack on us and the opponent. So we have um, Battle Thumping. Now this is called Funeral March. It's called something different. No, it just put the Ignite on. It did not put the debuff. And it did not override it either. So good to know. The Eternal Mystery has been solved. Better try to run here soon, buddy. Nope. There's... Yeah, I mean, I should restore my mana. There's no reason not to. And I also should always do Hail of Teeth, because it's free. But I really want to use Crush Bones and just kill him in one hit. I don't need to. We'll just move you forward. And then Strength forward. through pain. <laughs> it's so funny that even that gives them the hourglass buff. I just need to see. Wow. I have a spell that does over 200 points of damage. He's taking 45. Yeah. He'll I had 168 mm, spell power. Keeps up, <laughs> it said I had 168 spell power. After killing an enemy with a critical hit, the minion gains 10% experience. Not for this team. Not for this team. Pretty good for other teams, though. I'm excited for this. This is going to be fun. Um, I don't really like sac sacrificial altars, especially when all of my minions have full items. So let's head to the quest over here up here and get this ancient coffin it's way better way better path anything else I really want to do here mm. starting to get quite a bit of parts maybe making better parts so we'll hold off on that for right now all right boys march on probably should have made a potion there so I can Make them easier to kill, or make them have less sanity. Easier to kill. If their base life is less, then I can kill them easier with my spells. They lose 20% vigor for two battles. Okay. So this is a new enemy. You were speaking about new enemies, Meyer. This is a new enemy. I have no clue what that is, but it looks like a giant turret. Well, if it's not immune to magic damage, I should be fine. Holy crap. It's beautiful. It does have quite a bit of magic resistance, as I, as I thought it would. Does not escape, can't be moved, takes up two spaces, immune to ignition, immune to stress, explodes when starting their turn with 10% or fewer vigor. Good thing I read that. So what I'm going to do here... 
because this thing has a lot of armor and it's immune to ignition so it's like it's not going to be easy to kill it, it is not going to be easy to kill at all this is going to be very tough to kill so i am going to i should do this first no matter what huh i'm going to use a buff on uh on gumball and i'm going to try to make gumball hit stupidly hard Yep, and so now we're gonna use a muck on Gumball. Rage release. Uh huh. And we're gonna thump him. Not immune to a debuff, are you? That's right. And now Gumball's gonna get more hungry, and then his damage should be pretty dang high. Pretty dang. High. All right, and let's get rid of this guy. As soon as we can. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. So. Gumball's damage is better used to attack the Berserker here, actually. So, I'm going to use Crushed Bones on this thing this turn. Get Chunk. Crunchy. And then Gumball's damage should be enough. Oh, good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. You have two blocks on you which is fine. I could do magic damage, just wouldn't hurt him almost at all. Better alternative is to just smack you for a little bit of damage. Could boost spell power. Gumball's a champion. He is. He absolutely is. He's a... He's a, he's a trooper. Ooh, Scythe of Death is also very good against these guys. Having an execute type ability is going to be pretty good. For every... Okay, so for every... Spell power I have, I gain 2% increased damage, I think. So 12 is 24% more damage. I think it's better to do, the, to do this and heal some mana. Just a little bit. These two only have one turn on their on their uh, funeral march, so I'm going to have Gorger wait. They're going to go, and their buff is going to go away, and then I'm going to reapply it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't. It's not gonna tell me what that's gonna do. That's just a bomb, right at right at Gumball's feet. This is like one of those uh, anime moments. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I was gonna say this is one of those anime moments where like the giant monster with the huge mouth just picks up the bomb and eats it, and it blows up in their stomach, and they're just like, and just smoke rolls out of their mouth. They don't give a crap. That's exactly what just happened. Um, yeah, this guy should not have a good time this turn, so we're going to gain spell power. Yeah, I'm, I'm set. This guy's dead. Crunchy. Yeah, that's safe. There is no way that he can survive all this. Actually not confident that this will kill at all. So I'm going to use this here. Just to get those blocks gone. Why have you wait again? This will kill them. In one one by one, life vanishes from this world. Well, that was a very cool, uh, cool fight. And that thing hard counters this team big time. Big time. The thing was immune to everything I'm trying to do. Eh, just do this again, because I'd rather have Gumball up front. Yep, let's just keep here healing my mana. So my mana's just set. That's what happens when Gumball gets super buff. Mine is the winning. 
purple boat? A level 11 brain. Purple bones. Purple bones going in Nurgle right away. Nurgle? Yeah, it's gotta be Nurgle, not not the Spell Enforcer. Spell Enforcer doesn't need stats. Nurgle needs the, the damage. He needs the sick damage. It feels wrong not to put some more points in life. I'm not gonna be that reckless. And then this is pretty value. It's just two initiative. We'll save the other two points. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm I'm starting to uh, starting to really come online here. Okay, so oh my gosh, oh my gosh! You know what? Spell would also be silly with all this much spell power. I just remembered. This is one of my favorite spells before. Slake with darkness. I used this a lot in my first playthrough. Deals stress damage to all enemies, and the stress damage ramps up based on how much spell power I have. So instead of a single target nuke, I can stress everybody out with a huge wave. That's our next pickup. That's our next pickup. Nurgle has points to spend? No? He just gained a lot of points. The game was the game was JKing me. Alright, we're good there. And we definitely have enough to make something else here. I think I want it to be the library, because there's gonna be a lot of different stuff that I want for his talents. Then again, these souls are going to be super important once I get to the end. Once I get to the end, the souls are going to be very good for upgrading my parts, maybe? Ah, no. It's still this. I'm going to make it unfrozen. Oop. Excellent. Those that kill will be well preserved. Oops, oops. Get in there. <laughs> he didn't want to go. He's like, no, don't send me away. We're good. Boosty booster spell power. A hundred mana. A hundred mana. Well, I don't need to use this this to heal mana, so let's just blast all of you and deal some damage here. What spell do I want to use? Who do I want to kill is the better question. You're going to use this. Alright, now i got to use my spell. Marksman's not the most scary. Especially when all my team have a block. This guy can do some annoying stuff, but I can't just kill him with one crush bones. I could probably kill him with one crush bones. She can heal. Yeah, let's let's get somebody dead. <laughs> Round one, elite musketeer. Crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> Peace. And get as hungry as you want, Gump. Whatever you need, my man. Trying to put blocks and wards on your buddies? No, I don't think it's gonna work out for you. She's next. This again to get rid of both their wards. Yep. It died. This is my kind of entertainment. <laughs> Dead. Almost. Almost. Can't do any damage with him from this position, which has been an issue. What I what I have learned though, since he has their debuffs running out right now, he can always wait at the end of the second turn, let them go, and then reapply the thump. So, my first two turns on this team are golden. After the third turn, it gets a little awkward with him being in this position, but 
still. Very good. Reapply the thumb. Could use more mana. And then this is free. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. Could have just used that and actually used the other thing to uh, get rid of his blocks, but it shouldn't matter. At least he can do something impactful when they're thumped from that position now. Oh, you're trying to run? Nope. I do not see that happening. Yeah, we're going to end this on full mana for sure. I also want to end on full life for most of my dudes, though. So then we'll make sure everybody waits. Waits their turn. Yep. Patiently waits for the reaping. 300 and 327 damage reaping. <laughs> Another what? step towards my eternal kingdom. Strange jar. Guaranteed to find a brain after a victory. One time use. It's just a little it's just a little braid in there. Now, this still doesn't make sense. It's got four opening holes, and none of them could fit that braid in there. This is like the build a ship in a bottle thing right here. Don't tell me those extra holes help you fit that braid. They're level twelve. Yep. Yep. Giving you some more life would be good too. Debuff to the enemy. It's not awful. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Still can't put any more points into your attack. We'll save those two points. All right, Mr. Gorger, you are set to get which one of these? Probably the life one as well. Um, I could go this route to gain more initiative. What's this? Fifteen percent chance to stun. I forgot. I totally forgot that this has... Ooh. That's really good utility, actually. That's really good utility. Yeah, and we don't want Gorger to go first. We want Gumball to go first, in most cases. So yeah, let's do that. Now he can paralyze his enemies. And burn them. Uh, We'll save for more vigor. We want you... Like, that's not nearly enough life for later. Major ability upgrade for you. This is going to be a tough one. I don't need mana anymore. And I'm not using this move almost at all on him. But him being up front... No, he's not up front. Uh, so yeah, it ignores block and ward and removes stances. Yes. I expect Plus gives results. you a little bit more life. That is absolutely the call. We keep saving there. And for you, you've just been doing such a good job going first and buffing spell power. Let's just make sure you live... Oh yeah, major ability upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. I mean, even though he heals mana with this and he's probably never gonna use this move. Actually, no. Because of that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Because in those rare cases where I need Wrath, he'll be able to provide it. Okay. Well, there's another one of these. Which is pretty sweet and might be better for Gumball if I'm running the spell power team. Second break. Start of each round, the minion receives three attack and three dread until the end of combat. Stacks up to five times. Huh. Both of those are good for Gumball. Dang it. Nails of pain. Increase critical damage by 20%. Reduce critical damage received by 20%. Eh, I'm not using a Bride of Rodus. Second brain. Do we have the biggest brain abomination? I mean, 15 more spell power is kind of a moot point at this at this stage, right? We are ending the match with like 150 plus spell power, but this provides us with something very interesting, and every ounce of attack that we can put on Gumball will make him that much more effective. And the dread is not going to waste because, like I said, he does AOE dread Only damage all the time. They just leave lying yeah, they just left a brain on the ground. Now, it's going to get rid of the burning blood, but I don't need to stack Wrath on this team. This team almost never uses its Wrath ability. Second brain in Gumball. Yes! Gumball's way too smart. Way too smart for his own good. 
I would love to get better parts on these guys right now. What's my chance? I'm just going to check my chance. Everybody chill out. I'm just going to see what my chance is. Dust. Fill. 5.1% chance to get a purple. 10.2% chance to get a blue. So overall, 15% of the chance of the time, I'll be happy. And then 15% chance... Thank <music> you.